Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> A little over a year ago, I got shot with this 5.56 can cannon. And as you would expect, it was extremely painful. However, that made me curious what a larger, more powerful can cannon could do to the human body. So I once again flew down to Kentucky to have Scott from Kentucky Ballistics shoot me with his voluptuous, bodacious, and curvaceous can cannons. How's it going, Scott? Great. I'm kind of hungry. I have quite the spread here. Uh, no, you can't. You can't eat it. Oh. I just have to shoot I mean, it at you? Honestly, I think you're voluptuous enough. You know? I'm a little worried for you today, honestly. <laughs> yeah, this is a big one. It's quite a step up, I feel like. I'm kind of worried for your quads and back and- Just my general well-being. Yeah, just general well-being today. That's because you're a good guy, okay? But before we get too far into this, can you explain the difference between the two can cannons that we're using today? Absolutely. So this is the one we used before. This is a 5.56 can cannon. And this is the one we have today. This is a 308. Can cannon. Now it does look a lot bigger because I mean it is it is bigger. It is bigger, yeah. Uh, but you can't fit bigger items in there. The diameter of the actual can cannon side is the same. We just have a longer barrel. Uh, your big difference is the blanks that it uses to propel mm. said object. So that's a 556, and that's 308. So you got a little more gunpowder in there. Bigger blanks, more power. Bigger blanks, more power. Gonna be throwing tomatoes at you a lot faster today. And that's exciting. I'm excited. Um, it's gonna be interesting. I hope so. But before I start getting shots, I want to uh, show everyone the difference in speed of which these shoot. Okay, so we're gonna get some, some science today. Yes, yeah, a little bit of science before more science. Yeah, well I have a, a handy dandy chronograph so we can shoot over that thing and it will tell us exactly how fast, uh, say a can is moving. We can compare it to the 308 and like kind of have a baseline. That would be perfect. Cause then I get to know exactly what I'm getting myself into. Yeah. Cause you, I like to- Do you think it would deter you at all? Nope. It's like a thousand I mean, feet per second. I already flew out here. So uh, <laughs> it'd feel like a real waste to go back now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, okay. Well then uh, let's test these things out and then I can start shooting you. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my handy dandy chronograph. Um, you're actually pretty lucky that I even have this today because I keep having accidents with them. Um, is it accidents or are you purposely destroying it? No, they're totally accidents. All right, yeah. I'll take your word for totally it. Totally don't mean to destroy these stupid things. Anyways, I have a 5.56 five, can can in here and a can of crush. And I'm going to attempt to shoot over the chronograph and not through it. And maybe yes, we can get us a reading. We do need it for the next one. So right, so let's don't destroy it. Destroy it. I'm gonna try not to. Okay, here we go. Woo! All right, we had uh, 122 feet per second. You wanna take a look at it, Jake? See right here, 122 Honestly, feet per second. I mean, I've been shot with this one and I'll tell you what, it felt a little bit faster when it hit me. Oh, did it? But obviously I'm I not mean, a chronograph, so <laughs> I, uh, maybe just- You're a lot tougher than the chronograph. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much faster do you think it's gonna be? At least 100. Yeah. 100 FPS. I'm like gonna that. go, yeah, it's gonna be at least 100. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, well, it exploded. But uh, it uh, exploded one, we can do one more, but that was 233. 233 feet per second. Yeah, I was like, pretty uh -oh. good on my guess there. Uh-oh. There it goes. Damn. Did he even give a reading? 225. 225. So there we go. Yeah, I'd say about 100. Yeah, so it's definitely it's definitely moving faster. Yeah, yep. almost twice the speed, a little under. I think I can survive it. You think so? Yeah, you know, it's paintball gun shoot faster, just not as much mass. Yeah, just, yeah. I mean, that totally, that's how the science works yeah. on that one. Yeah, it'd be yeah. cool. It'd so be this fine. is a little bit slower, a little bit more mass. I think it equals out. Definitely not gonna break a leg today. Or blow a kneecap. I promise I'm gonna protect your knees. Anyways, here's the plan. We got a wide assortment of items. So we're gonna start from what we believe to be the least painful and work our way up to the worst of it. Let's get some science going. I'm nervous, but let's do it. <laughs> He's excited. I, I can tell. He laughed. You hear that? He's so excited. Up first, Skittles? Yeah, about to taste the rainbow. I'm about to feel the rainbow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're tasting it, I'm feeling it. You're about to feel colors. I don't know how I feel about that. We're about to find out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah! Oh my God, that is so much worse. That is so much worse. That was bad? That was really bad. <laughs> that was really bad. 
It was really funny because I didn't feel like they came out very fast. I think that's exponentially worse than the last one we did, the last can cannon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's um, that's worse. What's happening? Uh, you, you got lots of little speckles on you. Maybe I'm just being a pussy. I don't know. That looked pretty bad. I feel like it became a little bit like shrapnel. Are you sure? So about that? after feeling the rainbow, mm -hmm, yeah, I don't think I'm a big fan of it. Like I don't, I don't like rainbows. I do. Really good. I love Skittles. It's my favorite candy. So it's better to taste the rainbow than to feel the rainbow? Uh, judging from that, yeah, I'm gonna stick to eating them. That's fair. Yeah. Well, let's move to the next item. You, you can stop. This is really weird in the mic. Like, Actually, could you eat closer? Yeah, people love that. ASMR, right? <laughs> <laughs> Up next, what do we have, Scott? We have some peanuts. Interesting. This is uncharted territory. I'm excited to see Wait, what happens. Are you happens. supposed to like, I remember- Yeah, you can eat the shell. Did you that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never eaten peanuts before, so I don't, I don't really know how to. I don't know how to eat them. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> it's still bad. It's still pretty bad. It's still bad. Um, oh, you got some, oh, you got some spots here. Some you actually have some peanut there on your on your lat. It's still stuck to you. That doesn't look like it did as much damage as the uh, no. I think it was Skittles. We predicted this wrong. Yeah. Skittles were worse. Skittles are definitely worse. It still hurts though. Yeah. Uh, not an enjoyable experience. It's not like you're getting a nice massage. It's not like it's so painful. It's good, you know. Right. Yeah. It's just pain. Totally understand what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> those look like they exploded like a lot before okay. they even got to you. Basically, we were cracking the nut on my back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, that turns out that's a pretty good way to shell your peanuts. Yeah. Because you're supposed to. You're not supposed to eat the shell. No. We found that gotcha. out. It's a, yeah. it's a little coarse. Yeah. A little gritty. That would explain mm -hmm. a lot. So just load up your can cannon, shoot it somewhere, and then you can eat your peanuts off the ground. Yeah. That's probably, probably not good advice, is it? Probably not. Okay, well, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> what are we on to now? This is a, uh, a dryer wool ball. Wool ball. Okay. Say that five times fast. Wool ball, wool ball, wool ball. Dryer wool ball, dryer wool ball, dryer wool ball, dryer wool ball. Yeah, it's hard. It's deceiving. Uh, it seems like it would do nothing, but it's actually pretty dense. Yeah, light, light, but compact. So I'm interested to, to see how that feels on my back. Yeah, it's feel really nice. Good, solid, you know, mm -hmm. pat on the back. Like, good job. Good job, Houston. I'm proud of you. I need Sorry, that. I'm just joking. You've no, never heard no, that no, of you. No, ever... no, I never. No one's ever been proud of me. I'm sorry, I can't say it either. I'm... <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Hole. Oh, um, how was that? Did that hit you like right in the middle of the back? Are you okay? You're like just off the spine. Well, that's good. Yeah, that is I very didn't hit good. The spine. That hit a lot harder than I was expecting. <laughs> Almost took my breath away a little bit. I didn't bit. know whether to laugh at that one or not. I, oh. <laughs> dude, dude, that is a hard hit. I mean, that was just a dryer ball, like a wool ball. It turns out anything flying fast enough can be a good projectile. That, um, oh, that's pretty brutal. That's wow. like right in your shoulder blade. Sometimes I can like, I can react more naturally where it just stings really bad and I could scream and sometimes- You couldn't scream then. I get hit so hard. I'm like, I don't know how to react. I didn't think it hurt you at first because I was like, oh, you didn't say nothing. But then like you fell to your knees and like, she doesn't do that often, so. Ugh. So that's why, that's the last thing I'm getting shot into my back. <laughs> Everything after this is gonna be worse. So we're moving to my legs. I'm kind of scared. I think I might, I may, I may go home. No, no, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want to do this Scott, anymore. Scott, I'm feeling kind of uncomfortable. Scott, if we stop now, no one's going to learn anything, okay? Think about, People, think about the education. They need to learn, yeah. yeah they need to learn. They need to learn. Okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> well. No, 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 you forgot. What? There's a, there's a uh, tomato. You right. forgot the tomato. You're right. One more to my back. Okay. Uh, I, tomato? I've got a tomato in there. Tomato, tomato, yeah, whatever you call it. It's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be pretty brutal. We learned a very valuable lesson last time we did this, and it's that the tomato has a solid-ish core, mm -hmm. and that tends to fly pretty fast. Yep, and now we're gonna be flying even faster. So let's make it a spaghetti. That make you the meatball? It makes me the noodle. A limp noodle? I'm a stiff noodle. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, 
two, one. Oh. <laughs> it just exploded. Yeah, I don't think it would make it to you. It's too much, uh, too much pressure, probably. Yeah. Yeah, we just got some. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Faster. <laughs> I don't think it'll work because we got to. We... So for the tomato, we have to shave it down to size. Yeah, it's got to fit. And what we found out with the smaller cans as well, there's yeah, so there's much floating pressure. I don't know. I feel out. like a big chunk flew by you. I got a butt shot. Oh, did you? Yeah, which uh, didn't feel too bad. I, got I was cushion. aiming lower yeah. too. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like I should just go trim one more. One more? Yeah, I really, yeah. want, I really want to see the tomato. One more try. One okay, more. all right. Okay, round two with the tomato. You ready, Houston? Ready. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah! It still exploded, but I got hit in the love handle with something. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of went everywhere. Yeah, the the least of the, the ones we've had so far, but I almost think there's so much power yeah. with this uh, 306 that it can explode some of the projectiles that we have. He got hit so hard that he forgot it's called a 308. Oh my God. Brain ain't working I right. I went down too. That love handle hit like a nerve. I'm just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to my leg. What's up next? So, we're gonna move on to things that are a little tougher than the wool balls. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, next is a tennis ball, and we are gonna be the safest we've ever been. Yes, so we I'm got a lot excited. of precautions. We got a lot of precautions here. Now, we got the cinder blocks to protect my knee. I will yep. be bending a bit. Perfectly covers my knee. No chance it hits it. Zero chance. It's always zero. Zero yep. chance. You're gonna be standing over there next to some cinder blocks mm -hmm. uh, that we have set up to protect Houston's knee. Oh! I don't know. I don't. I, I don't remember that. Helmet, Plate body carrier. armor, full blown body armor. He, that's rated all the way up to like armor piercing 308. And then, and then you've got a shield that's rated up to 44 magnum. So like, you should be good. Exactly. The, the only thing that's exposed is our intended target. Just the quad. So there's no way I'm gonna accidentally hurt you this time. <laughs> but you'll purposely hurt me where we want. Right, I'll do it on purpose with your permission where you want me to hurt you, but never on accident. Never again. Never again. All okay, right. I'm gonna scoot back and I'm gonna shoot you this tennis ball. Deal. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. It hit him in the, hit him in the knee. Ah! <laughs> ah! Thank God we didn't do that to my back. Dude, I almost got you in the knee. You did it again, I need to bend my knee more. It's a good shot though. I was right here. I was aiming here. So it drops a bit. Yeah, well, when we, when we did our test shot, it was hitting low and to the right. So I aimed high and to the left. It hit you right there. But at least it wasn't in the knee. It wasn't Ooh. the actual knee this time. Ooh. That's it. I got to take my oh, pants no. down. <laughs> I always come prepared. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. And now I'm nervous. Is this supposed to look like that? No, it's not supposed to look like that. Because uh, yeah, that's got a, like a weird lump. Contusion. I'm contused. And I'm perplexed. I would be too. It's a big word. I don't even know what it means. Bewildered. Is that Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm a little bit scared because everything after this is going to be much more dense and hard. But what are we moving on to, Scott? We have some crush, some orange soda. I'm getting crushed with some crush. Mm -hmm. And you're my fun. crush. No, you didn't. I'm just joking. It. I'm just kidding. Kind. You're a married I'm man, just kidding. Scott. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him with a crush can now. A deal needs to be made. I'm confident I can get hit with this and not react, not make a peep. Not a sound, huh? Not a sound, not a single sound. And when I do, everyone's gotta like the video. It's just a tradition now, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe in my abilities. Okay, well, sounds good. I hope I can hit you with a can. We got. Other cans. We so. got plenty. We got plenty. I totally haven't been drinking them off camera, and this is the last one. Or nothing like that. We got plenty. It's a deal. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> hit the brick? It hit the brick. <laughs> it was going straight for ye old knee. You just. It, it's like, I just, it's in me, man. It homes. My body it, yeah. just goes for the knee. Well, this is why we have hey, some more. All we did was just prove that our safety precautions are Ooh. extremely effective. Yeah, there's, nothing's getting to my knee now. But this is also gives me a, a sigh of relief since the concrete block survived. Yeah, it didn't crack. I can survive. Yeah. I'm like concrete, kind of. Yeah. You know, maybe. Not as brittle. 
not as brittle, a little bit more malleable, but uh, let's load up another can. Okay, you ready? Ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. He didn't make a sound. He didn't do it. We got you though. Good hit, right? Good hit. You... How's that feel? Dude, did it hit you right? Is that where it hit you? No, I peed a little. No, I mean that ring, it looks like it hit you square. Oh. And then exploded on your leg. Uh, that hurt really bad. That's almost a tennis ball. Yeah. I think the tennis ball moved out a little bit quicker. Yeah, it was moving faster. Um, well, we've more... also, we've created a little bit of a, I don't know where it went, but a little bit of a buffer in there to keep it from exploding. So yeah, I feel like yeah. we're also maybe losing a little bit of velocity, but not much. Well, before we speak too much, let's take a look uh, of the data. Oh, the data. Okay, I was about to, just, about to leave again. Just take a little look here. My leg is quivering a bit. It almost looks like the top of the can. Yes, like that. Uh, I, like here? almost like you can see the, <laughs> yeah, the, the outline of the tab. I'm pretty sure you can. We need to verify that on slow-mo, but that almost looks like the tab. See the can? Yeah, you can see the can. If you can, <laughs> can you can, uh, you messed me up now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this is probably bad for me, but now I'm just filled with confidence for the largest items that we have. Mm -hmm. I really wish I was getting more of an idea of like where they're gonna hit, because it is a guess every single time. You're good at guessing though. I'm, I, yeah, uh, that's how I got through school. <laughs> Monster can. Monster can. Yeah. Pretty effective last time. It was, it was very effective. So we were at 12 ounces and now what this is like 16 ounces. Yeah, so we went up four ounces, a little bit more weight. A little more weight, a uh, longer can. What I'm um, curious about though, does the weight slow down the projectile making it about even or does the more weight transfer more force into my leg? Well, I mean, that's a good question. I mean, that's exactly why four bore is so effective. We're gonna be serious right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I like my four bore, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you take a round that's moving really fast. Yeah. It's really light. And then I shoot a four bore next to it. It's moving a lot slower, but it's Really heavy four bore is gonna do more damage. It's just a, it's just so much momentum. Just, just more mass. Yeah. yeah, moving into it. Like it's, it's irresistible. It's like the juggernaut. Like it's just gonna go. Well, this is a good test. See if it holds true for the can cannon. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't just blow through your whole leg. Yeah. These legs are pretty tough. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Ready. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Okay, it was worse. It was worse. It was worse. Uh, that momentum got yeah, it. The more, more mass. More mass. Got it. That momentum. Uh, oh. That. Uh, <laughs> all right. Dude, that hit you so uh, perfect. Just it was a slap. This is a beautiful slap. Yeah, I was having to aim really high too. <sighs> I'm glad you had that shield. Otherwise, I wouldn't have hit you. I wouldn't feel comfortable aiming higher. You hit um, me there. Are you sure? Yeah. This was that. Okay, tennis ball. This one was the crush can. This is monster. Yep. Keep in mind the tennis ball had more time to form into a welt. Right. So these will probably get worse over time. But that is already looking pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Are you like that? I'm telling you, it looks like the tab. The last one wasn't the tab, but that really does look like the tab. We'll have to review the slow mo. But yeah, uh, was that worse than the tennis ball? Pretty equivalent. I think the tennis yeah. ball moves so much faster. See, what well, I tell you, I, uh -huh. the more the more mass, it's uh, just yeah. as bad, but it's creating more. In terms damage. of the cans, Jordan. I think. Uh, Definitely the more mass, but we got even a massier can. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, we do. A real chunky boy. Yeah, <laughs> some, some would say it's gonna cause death. In liquid form. Liquid form death. Now accepting sponsors from liquid death. <laughs> we, we, got some, we got some severed lime, liquid death. So this can is 19.2 ounces. Murder your thirst. And murder. My leg. You're about to murder your leg. Well. If it wasn't for those cinder blocks, I would have murdered your knee at this point. My knees are important, so I'm happy that didn't happen. Yeah. But yeah, this is probably one of the most girthy cans you can get on the market. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. If the four bore was a drink, it would be this Liquid can. Liquid death. For sure, yeah. Liquid death about to be solid death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that last one slapped your leg like so hard. So uh, really curious to see just how hard that hits you. I'm curious to see if I actually can hit you. I am literally ready to jump with joy with the knowledge that's about to enter can my Can you body. jump? You can jump right now? I heard a pop. Yeah. Was... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Houston, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> ah! Turning 
was a mistake. Turning was a mistake. It hurts worse than the hammy. Oh. Did it? It didn't even fully break. Oh. oh, I just got. Oh. That liquid death uh, held up pretty good. Oh. Um, how's it going? How do you think it's going? Pretty good, right? That's not bad. Yeah. Let's see how it's going. Um, is back that here. Back right here. There? That's why it turned a little bit. I wanted to get a nice I'm clear just wondering canvas. Your whole leg is quivering. I'm wondering if it hit you before it hit the. I feel like it hit the cinder block too, but I don't know. Let's review first. I don't want to move on until we know for sure. Yeah. Let's we may need to do it again. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, lacrosse ball. A Dick's Sporting Goods lacrosse ball. Um. Man, that is that is a dense ball. Uh -huh. Like that's the densest thing. I would argue the densest thing we've shot all day. This is why we saved it for the last. Yeah. There's no give to it really either because mm -hmm. the cans explode. Gives me a little relief. Do you think it'll bounce back and hit me? I'm more worried about that than. You got safety. Safety glasses. Safety glasses. I'll be okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Houston? You ready? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Three. Two, one. Oh, I'm kind of happy you hit me there because that hit so hard in my most bodacious area. Oh, we hit you in your booty. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if it makes you feel any better, the tennis ball come right back at me and almost hit me. So yeah, I, mean, I feel much better now. It I mean, really, it could have been really bad. Yeah. Needless to say, you really clapped my cheeks there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of data entered my body today, Scott. But now it's time to review. I almost collected some data too. The yeah. tennis ball almost hit me. My life flashed before my eyes again. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, just, just show me your butt already. It's time to review. Scott wants to see my cheeks, so who am I to say no? But before that, let's take a look at my back. That's where I got shot first. How's it looking? I can't see it. Ooh. No, don't say ooh. The wool ball, man. Bad? I don't know. I'm pretty impressed with the wool ball. You still got lots of little marks on your back from the uh, Skittles. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. wool but the ball. wool ball is already bruising around it. That was a like uh, deceiving one. We thought it'd be like a funny joke, but actually pretty, pretty potent. Yeah, I would say the wool ball and the tennis ball right now are pretty high up there. Definitely. Moving on to the leg, tennis ball. Yeah, tennis ball there. Welted nicely. We have crush can. Monster? Yeah. Uh, This is a liquid death. What's the one at the top? I yeah. don't know. What is that? <laughs> Tell us in the comment what that is, because I'm not sure. Because we did crush, monster, liquid death. That's only three cans. I don't know. It's all blurred together. You know, it's a big you, fever dream. Yeah, you know? exactly. You shoot a person enough, sometimes it just. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, you got an extra in there somehow. Yeah, we got an extra data point. We'll uh, figure it out at we'll some point. We'll figure that one out later. Last but certainly not least is my butt cheek. Why are you turning away, Scott? <laughs> just being a gentleman, you know? Oh, you can look. How's that? Right there. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't even know I hit you there, honestly. I, mainly because I was, like I said, I was focused on the tennis ball coming back. I'm just glad I hit you. Me too. It's a little bit uh, scary standing there, take after take, waiting. Oh, for... no, I, was, I just got tired of chasing the ball. Oh. Yeah, that's all. That's fair. Thanks for shooting me, Scott. You're welcome. Always appreciate you having me out. Hey, anytime. You're always welcome. Be sure to check out Scott's channel. It'll be linked down in the description below. Also, I did a video over there where I shot really big guns. Fun video. Big, big guns. Go check that out. And I'll check back in a couple days and show you how all of this looks along with this one, which you probably have already seen. You really beat me up when I come out here. Right, well, you asked for it. I do. Thanks. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. This is like the third time you've been here. Mm -hmm. What do I hope, do next hope time? For a fourth. I don't know. I think like trying to shoot you out of a cannon. What's Human the, cannonball. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, I'll, well, aim for a pool. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the 308 Can Cannon data review. Two days after the experiment, I had minimal bruising on my back from the less dangerous items I was shot with, which if I'm being honest, I'm not too surprised about. My back tends to be an area that doesn't bruise as easy, but it's really painful when it gets shot. Then my left leg had extensive bruising from the tennis ball and cans that I was shot with. And lastly, my glute was also extremely bruised from the lacrosse ball. But what did we learn from this experiment? Well, I think it's safe to say that the 308 can cannon is definitely more effective in damaging than the 556. However, at the end of the day, I believe both the 556 and 308 have the potential to be lethal depending on what is shot out of the them and where a person is hit. Just imagine taking a can to the head from either of those can cannons. You're at least gonna have a concussion. Probably worse, but bare minimum 
concussion. But hey, those are just my thoughts. I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description to see deleted scenes from my videos. Thanks for watching this data-filled experiment, and I'll see you all in the next one.